Florida Capital Schools will require all parents be notified if you say gay. The school board in Leon County, which includes the Florida State Capital of Tallahassee, has come under fire for its newly adopted LGBTQ inclusive guide. In compliance with the new Don't Say Gay law that went into effect on July 1st, the new guide includes some provisions that many are saying are possibly dangerous to students. One such provision requires that parents be notified if a student is open about their gender identity or sexuality is in their children's PE class and using the shared locker rooms. If a student is out to their parents, there is a provision where the family can request a privacy and non-disclosure agreement and use separate locker facilities to avoid the notice from being sent out. Similar language was included about notifying parents in the case of a child being open about their gender or sexuality being on an overnight trip. While the notice to other parents does not include the student's name, many fear this could lead to public outing and bullying. This is absolutely ridiculous. And what I find even more ridiculous is this is, doesn't even put them in compliance with the Don't Say Gay law, which we already know is, is ridiculous enough. This doesn't just require, you know, you parents of, to know what's going on in their own kid's life. It requires parents to know what's going on in other kids' lives, mm -hmm. which is o overstepping a boundary that, that should not be overstepped. And that that in and of itself is so detrimental to to, a, to the relationship between a parent and a child and between you know staff and a child and that's so so alarming max mm -hmm. your your first comment that it's not even in alignment with the uh, the new florida law that went into effect on friday explain that to me Why it has it, not? it has nothing to do with this legislation because what that requires is that you're disclosing information to a kid's parent their own parent about their mental well-being, physical well-being. It's vague. We all know that. Um, it has nothing to do with other children, right? So if you're, there's no reason that you should be outing kids to other people's parents. So they would be sending something to somebody else. Oh, this kid came out gay. And they would send out something it, like somebody got COVID. Like one of those newsletters they would send right, out like to other amber, parents. Like an amber alert. Like an there's, amber a gay, alert. There's, there's a, a gay, gay person in your kid's class. And it demonizes. A gay amber alert. It, and it wow. demonizes a gamber alert. LGBT students. It demonizes LGBT youth saying, this is, this is something that needs a warning label. This is this 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 queer child needs a warning label. They are toxic. They are a danger to your children. And we, we need it to sounds like they're you. equating it with sex offense, with, with sex offender notification. Yeah, that mm -hmm. you're a criminal, right? Uh, because uh, because of your uh, gender or identification or your sexuality. Mm -hmm. I'm curious uh, in terms of LGBT reaction. Um, I hear you loud and clear that this is a significant escalation in Leon County, our capital mm -hmm. city yeah. in Florida. Uh, beyond Don't Say Gay. Why is it not gravitating in terms of national news today? We're reporting it, of course, uh, but we're core news tonight. Why is it not receiving lots and lots of national news? I think that people are spent. I think that I think that we we are coming into a situation that we saw with the COVID-19 pandemic, that we see that we see with all of these injustices where it becomes so normal that it's not even newsworthy anymore. That's yeah. what's terrifying is this is heinous. This mm -hmm. is this is scary. This is dangerous. Dangerous is what it is. It, People will die. OK, right. that's the bottom line. When I was a kid, I was not out to my parents. And if anybody said to me something like, I'm going to tell your parents, I would be deathly afraid because I would be immediately thrown out of my home. OK, mm -hmm. so being a young girl in that state, I thought about suicide more than one time. That is not an original thought when it comes to LGBTQ plus youth right now because of this impending law, because of this law. Excuse Matthew, me. I, I, I want to piggyback onto that observation. Matthew Shepard taught us a long time ago. The Trevor Project continues mm -hmm. to teach us uh, that among the top problems that we have among youth in schools, regardless of uh, race, color, creed, gender, uh, sexual orientation, it's the same number one problem, which is bullying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This seems to put a target on these students back in Tallahassee and Leon County to say you are intentionally different and the decision makers in Leon County schools are saying, okay, you're different, but we're going to pile on in that bullying to try to either shame you or quiet you or pretend that you don't exist or best of all, we don't want you to acknowledge you exist. Otherwise, we put a paint 
uh, crosshair on your back. With with no safe space for anybody to mm -hmm. go to. Okay, again, another thing. When I was in high school, there was these stickers that were on, a, on the teacher's doors, and all they said was, this is a safe space. Mm -hmm. If you're going through some stuff at home, if you're being abused, whatever it is, you can come here and a teacher or a guidance counselor will be here for you. Now that will not be that possible exists. for someone that's LGBTQ. What teachers are already taking down their uh, anything that has a rainbow and says safe space. But this is a place that you can come to. This is state sanctioned. This is state sanctioned <laughs> bullying. It, it is state sa state sanctioned segregation because as soon as you come out, you know now. Well, obviously you're checking out everybody else in your gym class, so you must be separated and and put away. This is put you back in the closet shove you as far back in the closet as we can put you and then until hopefully you will be mentally scarred and never come out or you'll just kill yourself Ma those are the goals of this legislation i'm i'm curious max um you uh, leading prism which is a youth organization designed uh, to voice uh for lgbtq youth this happens um, it, it falls outside of the parameters of Don't Say Gay, so it's an initiation of another worsening step of what we're watching in Florida. What do you suspect is behind this? What, what's the school board in Leon County's intention of whatever the problem is that they think is the problem, and why do you think they're doing this? I think that this is this is just showing another step in a long-standing trend towards demonizing trans people and, and demonizing queer people in a way that we haven't seen in, in frankly, quite some time, and a, 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 a doctrine that I was hoping was on its way out mm -hmm. um, until this year. And and that's what's so scary and what's so dangerous is it it implies that Queer people, just by nature of being queer, are predatory, are are dangerous. I'm, re I'm really surprised that they're going to allow LGBTQ plus teachers to continue teaching. Because if just us existing and breathing is sexualized to the fullest degree, then their representation as an LGBTQ plus teacher, then that wouldn't be okay. The obvious answer to that question is you're okay as long as no one knows you're LGBT. If you can Sound accomplish familiar? that, I, I know. <laughs> It, how you know when I when I first started uh, looking into the details of what Leon County School Board was doing? It's shocking. Uh, your tonight, your word heinous will ring in my head. In the 1930s, we've talked about this repeatedly. Uh, the Nazis put pink triangles mm -hmm. on you. They they put Star of David on you. They wanted to other to to Germans to, to say. We're marking these people. Mm -hmm. Leon County, it mm -hmm. seems to me, has done that exact same thing, mm -hmm. uh, meaning that they're more heinous than even Ron DeSantis. Which in, is hard. Which is <laughs> difficult. <laughs> and, and that's the point of uh, the dangerousness. We will follow this. I, I'm just in, in real quick summary on, on the story that we're reporting tonight. Today's July 6th. Mm -hmm. um, what's going to happen, project your crystal ball in the next week? How is this story and what Leon County Schools is doing, how is it going to um, um, unfold over the next week? What's going to happen? This is going to give agency, first and foremost. This is going to give agency to other school districts to enact similar policies and similar restrictions that, that go beyond it because we we have said time and time again this legislation is vague and we don't know the specifics of it and until there's guidance people can kind of interpret it however they want mm -hmm. to and if we have a you know, school district that has agency saying we're doing this thing and they're saying that it's putting them in compliance there are going to be other school districts that think i also need to do that to also be in compliance even though it's nowhere in that that's in that legislation. the negative how about in terms of the action voices that are going to stand up uh, broadly and say this is heinous and Whatever's well, going to I don't happen. think there will be, going to happen. I don't think that there will be in, in in the time frame that you're putting out there a week in the in the next week. We're still about five weeks away from school starting mm -hmm. again, at least here in South Florida. I don't think until there's a story, until there's an actual face attached to it, and this is just from a journalist perspective, that until there is an aggrieved student, mm -hmm. set, until dear God, until a student dies because of this, until there is someone to attach to the story, a face to put with it, I don't know that we're going to see a whole lot. I think it's going to get way worse before it gets better. I oh. think we're going to see a lot of teachers quit, and that'll be how they'll stand their ground, kind of, so to speak. But I, I really see we're going to see awful, awful stories coming up soon. I'm, I'm curious, to be honest with you. I'm curious what our viewers are going to do. Um, we are reporting, in my opinion, an incredibly, incredibly important story that is flying under, at least in the first hours, under everyone's radar.
Yes. And what I think that we're going to see, to, to, to Greg's point, I mean, not to Greg's point, sorry, to John's point, uh, you're, you're both involved, that's why I'm second. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, wow, we, we could, jumbled you we, together. Get we to would never story? do that. Please get to my story. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to John's point, I think that what we're really going to see is you know, we, we talked about youth activism and we talked about the ways in which young people are engaging in this fight. You, 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 we're, you're going to see the ways in which young people are engaging in this fight once this is in place or once once we're once the school year starts, the ways in which young people are really going to be taking action on campus and are, whether that be malicious compliance or malicious, you know, uh, protest. That's that's what we're really going to see. And that's and that's where this fight is going to pick up. You know, at the end place. of the day, before we move on to uh, John, at the end of the day, um, students uh, can be vicious to each other. That's what bullying is all mm -hmm. about. It is almost impossible to stop bullying. All you can do is manage bullying in schools. And Leon County has fired a cannon across the bow of the students and the parents and the families in Leon County to say we're going to paint a big pink crosshair on backs of many, many thousands of students. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see terrible results of this. Terrible. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.